back, ladies and gentlemen. That was Umkosa Umkulu, and wow, oh, wow. Listen, the thing that I always say is that in the studio, we always play good music. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a bad song? Uh, Be no, honest no. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say any names. I know we've never heard a bad song, man. I mean, shout out to Flo Jones Jr., who actually also released uh, something, Yana, you know, for his guest. So, you know, you know, most I'm always in power when it comes to music. But man, enough about that, man. On stage now, we're joined, but none other by Usiswalo, my man. How are you doing, my man? Yeah, I know, man, I'm good. You see, a funny story, I've known this cat for like a while now. I think it's more than 10 years or so. I mean, we've been on the come up on the game, you know. But you know, before we get into the music, I mean, you've been coming as Usiswalo when we're doing events back then, and then you had to take a break, you know because you know you started having emotions and then you had to look out after that you know when is new careers you know how is it how do you balance that as an upcoming artist and then now you have to look after yourself in your career um so in this you know we have time schedules yeah. we plan whatever we do mm -hmm. so i had to sacrifice i have to put my family first mm -hmm. because you know a man gotta hustle a man gotta do what he gotta do yeah. Yeah. so i had to start other businesses mm -hmm. and Given the fact that I became a father, so that's one of the most important things. I wanted to spend more time with my daughter. So that's the one of the reasons why I took a break on this. Oh, I love that, taking a break. Just to, like, close, hold those people that are close to you very yeah. yes, I mean, she's all the way from a group, representing your hood in the building. When I said Kukule, she was like, uh-uh, I'm not just representing Kukule, I'm representing Cape Town. Cape Town, and, uh, Cape Town. So you released so much, and most of the music talks about hustling. I mean, your EP came out, it's also about hustling, hustling rather, in Cape Town. You've done so many different EPs, you've done so many different songs. If someone has never, ever heard of you, if someone has been living under a rock, they're like, Aibo, who is Usiswala? I've never heard of this person. Can you please give us a brief understanding of who you are as an artist? Okay, Siswalo. Siswalo is an entrepreneur now. Siswalo is more than just a rapper. Mm. And you know what I'm saying. So I like to tell people that they must Google me. Gosh, huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, I think I was the first rapper on Google around Cape Town. You just go to Google. I've been hustling, man. And I'm a premium. And we did a lot of events. Mm. I shared stages with a lot of artists that I won't mention mm. because they inspire me. Yeah. So I feel motivated. But for Siswalo, he's a hustler, man. Yeah. He's the man of his word. He yeah. does what he does, he gets what he gets. Oh, yeah, 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 man. You see, you see, you're making things happen. Now on the music, um, I think you're gonna perform a song for us, you know, titled mm. Impilo, you know. You know, there's many gay associations, you know, when it comes to the word Impilo, you know, there's Impilo as in life, there's Impilo as in Invoselelo, and then there's Impilo just just a lifestyle, you know, what's the song about and how did it come about? Oh, uh, Impilo, the title of the song is titled Impilo, which yeah. is, we know Impilo means life, mm -hmm. but this one is a Venec record. Okay. So, I'm not actually portraying about gospel life, I'm mm -hmm. portraying about the things that we do in the townships, yeah. like how we came up and my hustle because when I was hustling, there were still trains in Cape Town. Yeah. So I will go from Cape Town, maybe to Kailicha to perform. Yeah. I'll rap and in my verse two, I'm mentioning like from Kukule to Togalanga, yeah. so that means I'm coming from the hood to hood, performing yeah. in Kailicha, riding planes. Mm. So um, before, uh, I think I went big when I was selling CDs before the mainstream, mm. before SoundCloud, I was selling my disc. Yeah. So it portrays the life that I've been through, like in Bilo, I've been hustling then. It shows that um, at the same time, I've been submitting CVs, mm. like sacrificing myself, like yeah. to be there, mm. because I refuse to be broke. So mm. that's the main portrait about in Bilo. It means life, it means hustle. I love that. The Bilo guy is coming out on the 2nd of September, so you make sure that you stay on his line, which we're going to find out what is his line a little later, later on. But what I want to find out is what have you been doing? Like, wh how have you seen your music change over the years? Because, I mean, you're a businessman. You've done a lot of things before yeah. you came into this rapping. So how have you seen your music transform and change? And how, you can, how have you become better as an artist? So I believe that I've been taking risks. Mm -hmm. Before I even go to an event, I went to an event to observe, mm -hmm. to enjoy myself, to advertise myself, mm -hmm. than there to perform for myself. Mm -hmm. So, and I open a lot of doors for artists. Yeah. I used to give artists like my clothing line to sell for themselves yeah. so that they can be well known as well. Yeah. And I believe that I invested so much passion, so much distribution to most of South Africa's yeah. artists, like even from Kenya. And I've been doing three features. I never charge, even when it comes to perform, I just go there. Wow. So that's how I grew up in this business music. Wow. Yeah, man, that was inspirational. I mean, you know what you want, you know, 
who you are and you know what you are about you know Absolutely. when it comes to your goal and your music so how can people get in touch with you and how can you get the music yes. so for my music as i said you can google but the best way to stream my music you can just go to youtube or go to soundcloud you just type siswala mm -hmm. and then you will see most of my documentaries that i did like seven years ago mm -hmm. yeah. and then you can see like how i came up yeah. and who i rap for and what i represent yeah. so we just go online yeah. that's where you find my music online is where you go to find his music listen remember mpilo is coming out on the second of september so if you want to find out more about that make sure you are on his page when mpilo comes out are you going to come back to ctv of course of course <laughs> I, I represent wait CTV. i want to go with him yeah. <laughs> of course i'll I be didn't there know. i'll be here to. like to, to be honest with you ctv opened a lot of doors Okay. Yeah. I, was here, I was young when I came here like seven years ago. Yeah. They never ignored us. Okay. Yeah. They've been there for us. A lot of Cape Town artists, they can relate. Okay. City has been there for us. So I'll be here. I'll perform probably. I'll bring my little one. I don't know, but I'll be here. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining you, us man. right now, ladies and gents. Here is a quick ad break for you and yours. Do not go anywhere. <laughs>